Hello everybody. In this episode, we are going to be talking about water hammer and the ways to get rid of water hammer or arrest it. Uh, now, what is water hammer? Well, water on your potable water supply in your plumbing system, most of the time is sitting there what we call static. It's under pressure, it's not traveling, it's sitting somewhere around 75 PSI, just sitting there. Now, when you open a valve, that PSI turns into velocity, it turns into flow rate. Now it's moving through this pipe. That PSI is gonna drop down and it's gonna turn into flow rate or velocity. It's traveling down that pipe. Now what happens when you turn a valve off? It's gonna stop. And when it stops, that velocity stops and it becomes PSI again. If it stops suddenly enough, that PSI could jump way up over 400 uh, pounds per square inch, which is a considerable amount of stress on your plumbing system. Uh, the way I look at it, a good analogy is, just think about a train traveling down the tracks. Uh, what happens if that engine was to stop all of a sudden? All that weight and all those cars behind it is gonna slam into each other. So basically, every time you're opening and closing a valve, you're creating little bitty train wrecks all down your plumbing system. It can be very bad for you. Now, the flexible tubing that we use is real resilient to that stuff uh, because it can flex and expand and contract and stuff. Uh, but we still need to do something about those train wrecks. Uh, it's not so bad on your gate valves and things because these are considered slow closing valves. Uh, you're gradually turning it off, gradually turning it on. That train, you're slowing that train down. You're speeding that train up. We're not having these little train wrecks. But we have some appliances out there, such as your uh, washing machines and your ice makers. They've got what they call a quick closing valve or a fast closing valve because it's an electrical valve. It's on a solenoid. Basically, if you've had any experience with solenoids, that thing's gonna click on, click off, and it's fast. It's a lot faster than your faucets, your ball valves, your gate valves. It's not slowing it down and speeding it up. It's stopping. Um, so you've gotta do something to alleviate that because it can cause all kinds of damage through the years on your plumbing system. Now, uh, when I first got into plumbing, the way we were doing it is we were building these things. Uh, we were building them out of CPVC. This just happens to be PEX, the polyethylene. Uh, it's called an air chamber. And basically, your water supply is coming in and then it's going to your stop or your shutoff valve under your sink, behind your toilet. And then you've got this, which is uh, a little bit larger pipe diameter. Uh, and it's holding air in here. Um, and what happens when you open and close that, it's, that air is compressing. Air will compress, liquids and stuff don't compress. It's how hydraulic pistons and things work. Liquids don't compress, but air will. So as you're shutting those valves on and off, this air pressure is creating a cushion inside of here. Now, uh, someone came up with the idea that these would fail after a while because they could fill up with water. Um, I, I don't really agree with that. Sure, you could lose some air pressure out of here. Sure, it could fill up with water, uh, but I think these were just fine. But they came up with something even better. Now, this is called a water hammer arrester, and it's basically the same thing as an air chamber. This just has a little plastic piston in it with two O-rings on it, so there's no way for that air to ever get out of here. And it, this is compressed in here. So when you're working that valve on and off, that little piston is hopping up and down and jumping, and there's no way for water to completely fill this little chamber. It also allows it to be a lot smaller in size than your old air chamber. These had to be nine inches tall. Uh, so where do you need your arresters? And this is in the code book. Uh, now, a lot of states haven't adopted the code for this, so you might not be using these everywhere. Some counties uh, do require them, and we need them on our ice makers and our washing machines. Uh, and lucky for us, they went ahead and pre-made them for us. So you can buy an ice maker box 
It's already set up with your water hammer arrestor. It's made in there just like the old ones. This one so happens to be PEX ready, but you can get them in uh, different varieties. And they also have them in your wash machine box variety where you have your drain here and then you've got one on your hot side, one on your cold side. Really neat. Uh, and we use these when the code or county code requires it on those fast closing or quick closing valves, which are typically those electric valves on your ice makers and your uh, washing machines. Well, that's it on our water hammer and hammer arresters. Uh, hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.